Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to provide a short demonstration of the one sample t-test using SPSS. Before we get started, let me note that underneath the video description, you will find a link to the SPSS data file that I'm using in this presentation. Additionally, you will find a link to a PowerPoint that will contain more information than I will be covering uh, in this presentation. So in particular, the PowerPoint does provide two examples of the one sample t-test and this video demonstration is just going to be focusing in on the first of those two. Uh, additionally, the PowerPoint provides more details concerning interpretation of the results, including calculation and interpretation of effect size. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our example. So what we're going to be doing is testing whether the mean age from a sample of 20 Facebook users differs significantly from a 2013 estimate of the population mean for adults who use Facebook. So that 2013 estimate uh, was that the average uh, adult Facebook user uh, is 40.5 years old. So we are going to hypothesize that there will be a statistically significant difference between our sample mean and the hypothesized population mean of 40.5 years. So our null hypothesis, which you see right here, is stating that the population from which our sample is drawn has a mean of 40.5 years the alternative hypothesis that you see right here is stating that the population from which our sample is drawn does not have a mean of 40.5 years. So let's go ahead and open up SPSS and run our analysis. So here we have SPSS opened up. We have our age variable uh, for our 20 individuals. To run our analysis, we're going to go up to Analyze, Compare Means, and then One Sample T-Test. We're going to move the age variable over to the Test Variables box, and where it says Test Value, we're going to type in 40.5, which again is that 2013 estimate of the average age for adult Facebook users. We're going to click OK, and we get our output. So you'll see that we have our sample size, which is given right here, which is 20. The sample mean, which is 32.9965. So basically the sample uh, age, or the mean age, is roughly 33. So then we have st uh, the standard deviation for our sample, and then we have the standard error of the mean, which is given. Right here we have the test value. This is our hypothesized population mean. So if we take our sample mean of 32.9965 and subtract the hypothesized population mean, we get our mean difference, which is presented right here. And so we want to test whether this mean difference is significantly different from zero. And the way that we do this is to utilize the t-test. So you'll see that these columns right here contain our t-test results. The first value is our t-value and that is computed by taking the mean difference which you see right here uh, and placing it over the standard error of the mean which you see right here. So that's the t-value. You'll see that we have the degrees of freedom which is given and that is 19 and that's just computed by taking the sample size and subtracting 1. Next you'll see that we have a p-value and what we do when we are trying to determine if there's a significant difference is that we are going to compare our p-value that's printed out against our alpha criteria and the alpha level is essentially um, our threshold for rejecting the null hypothesis. So the conventional level of alpha that's used in hypothesis testing is 0 0.05. So if the p-value that we observe uh, from our data is less than or equal to 0 0.05, then we would reject the null hypothesis and infer that there's a difference between the two means. So the p-value that's given right here is 0 0.000. And actually, if you click in the box right here, you'll see that we have a more precise value. So it's not actually zero, but um, it's just a very small number. So it's rounded off uh, right here. So you see the point zero zero zero. So when researchers are reporting p-values that are this small, they typically report it as p less than point zero zero one. But nevertheless, the p-value that you see right here is definitely less than our alpha level of 0.05, so we are going to infer that there's a difference between 
um, the uh, population mean from which our sample uh, which uh, our sample is estimating and the hypothesized population uh, mean of 40.5 so going back and looking at our hypotheses we're essentially rejecting this statement right here that uh, the population from which our sample is drawn has a mean age of 40.5 years and we are sticking with the alternative hypothesis which is stating that the population from which our sample is drawn does not have a mean age of 40.5 years. Okay so that pretty well concludes this video demonstration and I appreciate you watching. You guys have a good day.